or there's one man who has made the best of both worlds. Chinese gymnast Chao Leong was a star in his country, winning dozens of medals. But 20 years ago, he moved to the United States and is now living his American dream in more ways than one. Craig Morrow has details. Chiao Liang came to the United States as an accomplished athlete, but he could barely speak English and knew little about the world outside of gymnastics. 20 years later, the Beijing native is an institution in his adopted country and a highly successful businessman. Well, I did not have much clue on what's going on 20 years ago on what, what is the United States look like even though I came here, competed it. Eventually, it would be a return to his hometown for the 2008 Olympics that catapulted Chiao to world prominence as a coach. There, he led American Sean Johnson to three medals and the U.S. team to a silver. That crowning moment has its roots in the American farming state of Iowa. Chiao came here in 1990 to learn English and coach at the University of Iowa, a job that he left to pursue a life's dream. I always wanted to uh, have my own business and uh, my own school. So after working for Iowa for eight years, I felt that one, um, I can do more if I start in the students uh, at their younger age. And secondly, I can be uh, more in control when you have your own business on um, where you want to go. Along with his wife, Shuang Liwen, he started off teaching students in a leased space in the state capital, Des Moines. Uh, I was renting a, a facility, a, a warehouse. We were um, pretty much uh, maximizing the potentials. So I have students already and then we just overgrow it and then we moved over to building it. Xiao designed this 14,000 square foot gym himself on the site of a cornfield. Demand became so intense that he added a second gym of the same size about two years ago. There are also two national champions and one world champion training right here at Chow's Gymnastics. The center has begun to attract gymnasts from all over the United States to train here and they've even begun coming from overseas. Xiao says he's the only Chinese emigrant in the world to have coached another country's athlete to Olympic gold. That does not mean, however, that he doesn't sometimes imagine bringing his business back home. Maybe I'm building one in China. In China? Later. <laughs> I don't <Yeah>. know. <laughs> you know, the system has been changing. Now the, um, the government is allowing uh, anybody to building up the, the schools, either for gymnastics or the fitness. For now, though, the task on hand is coaching another protege, 16-year-old Gabriel Douglas, at the London Olympics later this month. After that, maybe a trip to China to see friends and family. For the future to have a, I want to relax a little bit, honestly. <laughs> you know, preparing for running business, it's just like a, a taking care of a baby. Chiao can't hide a smile when talking about two young prospects training in his gym. Already U.S. champions, they should have very good potential, he says, for the 2016 Olympics. Craig Morrow, CCTV, Des Moines, Iowa.